More than 12 million Americans suffer from food allergies. That is one in every 25 people. In children younger than three, the number increases to one in 17. My next guest is all too familiar with the risks associated with food allergies, so she decided to take matters into her own hands. Sabelle Pascal is the author of the Allergen-Free Baker's Handbook, and she joins me now. Welcome, Sabelle. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So I, we understand that you have a personal experience with food allergies, and that's what led you to explore or this entire world, right? I have an all too personal experience. Everybody in my family actually has food allergies. So we're sort of a food allergic family. Wow. Um, but it began with my first child, my son Lennon, um, who's now eight. But when he was a few months old, he was diagnosed with multiple food allergies, severe food allergies to dairy and to soy. Um, and we were both put on what are called avoidance diets. I was breastfeeding him at the time, and allergens passed through the breast milk into the child. Sure. So we were instructed to cut out dairy, soy, wheat, eggs, peanuts, tree nuts, fish, and shellfish from our diet completely. That's just about everything. It's everything. Well, it's not. What I discovered yeah. is it's actually not everything. Yeah, There's yeah. a whole wonderful world of uh, alternative ingredients mm -hmm. out there. So that's sort of what started this whole process rolling for me, was coming up with uh, allergen-free recipes for people like myself, like my son, like our family, and everybody else out there. And it was so great because you saw it as a fun challenge, and that led to your first book, The Whole Foods Allergy Cookbook, right? right? And you had such a great response, I that did. hence your second cookbook. Well, tell us about the response to your first. Well, my first cookbook was the first cookbook that eliminated all top allergens responsible for 90% of food allergies. And I knew there were a lot of people out there with multiple food allergies, and this was a way for them to cook without having to substitute anything. And we're going to dive right in with with one of your recipes that looks amazing, rice chocolate rice crispy treats. Yes, correct. This is an allergen-free rice crispy treat, and Look I brought this on for two reasons. One is it's highly nutritious because I'm using brown rice mm -hmm. instead of just plain old white rice, puffed rice, mm -hmm. and I'm using something called sunflower butter, which is uh, high in protein and vitamin E. So this is actually a nutritious snack as well as a lovely treat Fantastic. for kids. It's great for everybody, food allergic or not. It's also an easy thing for kids to make themselves. So you know, if you have kids over for the afternoon after school, they can make this as an after school snack themselves and, and you don't what, have to worry about it. What is that in there? This is um, light corn syrup and this okay. is actually from Whole Foods. It's okay. a, a GMO free corn syrup and I'm going to heat it up with this organic sugar mm. and we're going to bring it just to the point of boiling and the, uh, we're going to dissolve these sugar granules. It's granulated sugar. You could also do this in the microwave. So if, you're, if your kids are doing it, they can mm -hmm. put it in like a microwave safe bowl like this. And, and just it right heat in. it on like one minute increments, stir it in between until it's melted so they don't have to be over any kind of flame. Right. So I'm mixing that up. Kids love to bake with their moms, don't Kids they? Kids love, yeah. my, my children both love to bake. Yeah. Um, and they were actually my, my super taste testers for this cookbook, I have to admit. They, I, I spent a year um, making 100 recipes, so I was baking That's great. every day for a year. And luckily I had these sous so chefs it's all in the kitchen. Kid tested and approved. All, all the kids recipes. tested and approved. <laughs> but it's also been tested by people without food allergies. These mm -hmm. recipes are great for people who are on gluten free diets, who are vegans, they're all vegan, or just. And any, uh, any, anybody. They're, gen then they're generally healthier than the actual, because you said this whole wheat and, you know, it's not like they're lower in fat, but at least it's, it's whole ingredients. Well, a lot of them actually are lower in fat. Oh, really? A lot of my recipes are lower in fat because I'm using things like applesauce in place of eggs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm using canola oil, so there's no saturated fat, right. so it's great for people on a cholesterol-free diets. What it's I'm sort doing of like a happy side benefit. Exactly. Um, and actually, 30% of the recipes are made without refined sugar. So Great. if you're looking for low sugar or non-sugar recipes, no refined sugar. What I'm doing here is I'm bringing this just to the boil, and then I'm going to mix in this um, sunflower butter. Now, this is made from sunflower seeds. Delicious. And it is a great substitute for peanut butter mm -hmm. or for um, nut butters. And the reason I'm using this is because this is an egg-free recipe, and most Rice Krispie treats are made with marshmallows, which actually are made with eggs. Are they really? I didn't yes. realize so that. Yes, so that egg whites is actually what gives it that structure, is that I white see. fluffy structure is from egg whites. I didn't know that. So, if you have an egg allergy, which that's one of the top food allergens, many, many children, I think it's one of the top three for children under three, wow. uh, can't eat eggs. So this is going to give you the structure that the marshmallow would and be giving And sunflower you. seeds, not so many allergies. No, um, it's not one of the top right. food allergens. Right. There's actually top, there's uh, eight top food allergies. Um, and in Canada, they consider sesame uh, one of the top as okay. well. So in Canada, it's nine. Okay. So there's that. That's all mixed up. 
That looks beautiful. delicious right there. You just I know. It's like you could actually dip just your spoon in right there. It's going to be like fondue. Yeah. You can actually make this and just dip fruit in it. It's almost like it's a caramel dip, right? Oh, that looks delicious. And so once you get that nice and smooth. Right, and nice and smooth, we're then going to combine it with okay. these um, brown rice crispies. Now, these rice crispies are gluten-free. Can I pour that in? Sure. Okay. That would be lovely. Thank you. All right. But if you have a child who is anaphylactic to tree nuts or mm -hmm. peanuts, and you want to make sure that you're working with a completely safe product with no risk of cross-contamination, you can also make these with Enjoy Life's Crunchy Rice Cereal. Oh, really? Which okay. is not and gluten-free, and it's made in a dedicated factory facility, okay. so it's totally safe. Yeah, you can see allergy So you could use lanes. either one of these. Okay. Great. Would you like to mix? I would love to mix. Okay. Thank you. If you could mix this up really fast with for me. Food? Sure. Okay. You want to work quickly to combine your melted Oops, sorry, I'm <laughs> sun butter. <laughs> I am. It's good. You're doing good. Spreading crisis. This is, you know what? This is the way this it is, is in my it, kitchen, right? right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> you just want to like make sure that it's all kind of coated mm -hmm, a little bit, and then mm -hmm. we're going to press it into this mm -hmm. greased dish. Mm, this looks delicious. Dig down. I'm ready to eat this. <laughs> Again, you can make this into yeah. little balls and eat this too. That's See, I, that's another great thing about allergen-free vegan um, baking is you can actually eat mm. all the while yes. that well, you're preparing it because there's no risk of salmonella, there's no egg. We're running no out of time, so let's, let's just stick it in. Get it right in there. Okay, great. We are almost done. Great. Look at that. Mmm, this looks delicious. Here, I'll yeah. do the rest. Flatten it out. Yep, we're going to flatten it out. Okay. Mmm, 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 mmm. And chocolate. And you put the chocolate right on top, we're right? Put the chocolate right on top. Can I pour it? You can pour mm. it, and then we're going to spread it into an even layer. Mm, look at that. It's delicious. See, if delicious. I didn't talk so much while well, I cook, <laughs> it's But that's part of the fun. <laughs> Cooking and talking, bonding, it's all part of the Here, fun. Here, and I'm going to spread it with a, a spatula. Mm. And we're going to ooze here. I'm going to get the rest of that. Sorry. It's okay. Very quickly. We are just going to spread this across Delicious. the top. Oh, thank you so much. Cut Sabelle. it into 12 squares. And of course, it's cool. Don't forget to check out Sabelle's book, The Allergen Free Baker's yes. Handbook. And of course, you can check us out on abcnews.com on the health page to get more. Thank you so much for watching.